Essentially, Life is Strange. How would I sum up the world of Life is Strange? It's usually kind of a teen story. The first one was in a high school and you were a character called Max and she discovered that she had the ability to time travel, right? She could like freeze time and do stuff and then she ended up going into whole other like parallel things, worlds and stuff. And it was very cool. And it was kind of like part story, part puzzle. And as the um, as the world has progressed, they're much more like story games than they are sort of puzzle games now. With choices, choice is a big thing in Life is Strange. So, you know, talking to someone, what do you say back? And that affecting, this whole butterfly effect thing, even a little butterfly icon goes up in the top. It's like, bloop, 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 to let you know that you made a choice that will affect the story. It's that kind of vibe. And you're talking to people and the things you do, uh, dramatic, you know, from sort of the the interpersonal drama between characters and then there's usually like an overarching kind of like high drama like in the first one it was there was a killer going around and girls going missing and the second one you were trying to make it to the border so we'll see what the what is in store for this one there's always some kind of power though like the kid in the second one had telekinesis and um yeah so that's life is strange from the small to the large, the choices that matter, the choices that bind us, you know? Just check that it remembered my settings. Major choice prompt. Try cinematic. Okay. Let us begin. Thank you so much for all of that support at the start. I appreciate you guys. Life is Strange True Colors is a story-based game that features player choice, your actions and decisions that will have a consequence. Well, if it isn't the consequence of my own so, actions. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. LT and now you're finally Gray. leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... Issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. I like the glasses. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. And I'll just be is a normal angel? girl. In a normal town. Tag yourself. Is this... I thought it was about to be... Uh, is this the Heartbeat song? It's a different song. Sounded just like it. You guys remember that Jose Gonzalez cover of the uh, Heartbeats by The Knife? That popped up on TikTok the other day and I was like thrown back about 15 years. I was like, oh my god. What's up, Liv? Hope you had a great weekend. Side A, like a tape. <laughs> it, it is what it is. I'm a badge on her bag. I can't wait to see him. I'm walking about. Wow, beautiful. The graphics. Oh my god. Huge improvement already on uh, previous. Wow. Actually, an amazing looking environment. Meet him at the bridge. Is that him sitting down there? Can I go and talk to that person? Or am I supposed to... Hello? This has got to be him, right? The bro. 
the Brozif. Isn't this Gorge? Oh my gosh. I like our outfit. Let's rate the outfit. I'm giving this a solid eight. It's great. I wonder what year it is, actually, if we're... Oh, no, I can't go down here. What year this is? Are this present day or not? With it being like a cassette and stuff. I would love this to be in a older time, actually. Get some of that nostalgia. It's a potent drug. Ah, yes. Uh, I believe these are a violet uh, hanging chrysanthemums. Mums. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about plants after playing Strange Horticulture on stream the other day. This is a, um, a droopy ivy. Time to meet Gabe. That one. Drupalicious Ivus for uh, its Latin name. Ooh, a stag. Love deer. I'm a phoenix in the water, a fish that's learned to fly, and I've always been. Press B to leave the Zen moment. Oh, wait, so we can just like chill in these moments and choose when they, they end? This is her finding some peace. Why would I ever leave this moment? See, they usually have an option for turning off any music that is licensed that will get flagged, but like, how could I bring myself to do that when these scenes rely so heavily on the music? A bird! I wonder at what point this loops. Would you ever get a place this quiet for real though if you went here? Oh, I think it just looped. If you actually went here, wouldn't there be like 50 people on this bridge taking selfies and stuff for their Insta, you know? I bet you could find somewhere like it, though. That's really him. Haven Springs. Oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Well, I thought you were the guy sitting by the, the river, so I mean, I don't even recognize you anymore, apparently. Oh no, wait, I'm gonna click some wrong stuff because I don't know. Does this know I'm using my Switch controller? Hug? Okay, no, it's going by like PlayStation controls, I think. So would hug be there? Okay. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> In before super important Ooh, decision. It's pushing my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> is clicked wrongly. It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. Getting a tingle. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. The animations are so much better than the Screen previous games. Being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. Oh, that would be How so noisy. You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop. And honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet Eleanor. you. Leaf. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. 
Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Flowers everywhere in this town. She seems nice. Nightmare with yeah, hay fever, great. but beautiful. A little quick on the draw. Just hugs, taking though. antihistamines yeah, no every day. Uh, mostly standalone live. Welcome to you don't need to have seen the previous ones. Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Ski and bike. Is that a pharmacy? Oh, it was that kind of pharmacy. It wasn't a... I don't know. Brown bar. It's nice. There's some Swede in there. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. These pretty flowers aren't the only thing that we grow prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Blasting notice. Hmm. Hey Gabe. That's not there for no reason. Meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. You actually just give an and answer. what's the alternative? That is lying? a positive. Not lying, more like mm -hmm. strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard, or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? You have to be clever. Like, that's isn't that kind of the point of that question? Is not so you then sit there and go, well, do you know what? I cry really easily, or <laughs> I'm too emotional. I have a terrible temper. Like, you would never say that on a job interview. You're supposed to say, oh, you know what? So I guess I could work more on... It's like, yeah, like, I, can't, I work too hard. You know, I work too hard, if anything. I need to be told when to stop. And they're like, right, hard worker. I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. I know it's, it's not a butterfly when you make a decision anymore. It's like a little burning lantern He'll come or around something. eventually. Although there are butterflies. There Alex, help me out real in quick. The shop. Little reference. A little Easter egg. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite. But I've read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Is Lily of the Valley the top, um, like when you'd have a good Animal Crossing island? Isn't it that one? What did you do? What, uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it poisonous? Or like where a poison comes from or something. They you really know, just sell if it in Mac the brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? I thought that was his girlfriend. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Sure. Let's have a wonder. Who's in this picture here? Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Can I... Wait to see if I could play with the radio. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Well, now I feel like it will. Hold LT and uh, see emotions attached to a character. What do you think purple is? I would guess the color of worry, anxiety. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if 
if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Dude, I'm an empath. Can I sneak in the back? So many seeds, so little thyme. What else can we look at? Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. We'll be looking at everything. Snacky, snacky I hope poo. Charlotte likes the sunflowers. If not, she can have a macky snacky poo, courtesy of a generous ghost. Thank you so much. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was so bad, but it still made me laugh. Ah, oh. well done. Sunglasses. She got jokes. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? No, I heard not. he won the gnome bell peace prize. No, no. Oh god, please no. stop. No. No problem. Lovely, lovely. Which would you get? Which would you get? I would get... I like, um... like these, uh... Either these orange ones here, these yellow ones. Or the white ones, actually. They look the nicest. In real life, like, the red ones probably look really nice. But the, the, the red looks a little... Not great. For some reason here. Those gardening books... How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Read the perfect flower bed. Making the magic garden real. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? All right, statuette. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. I snooped at everything. Greeting cards. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Uh-oh. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. A bouquet. I think I didn't look at the gnome, actually. Hey, ladies. What are you drinking? Okay. Spidey sense. Alright, let's go. Do I meet you at the door? I can meet you at the door. Ready. Let's get out of here. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. There would definitely be some awkwardness after eight years, right? If you hadn't seen someone. That's a long time. What's the longest you think you could go without seeing, like, a best friend or a family member or someone that you were originally really close with to where you would be really like, oh my god, we'll both be completely different people. Like, what's the minimum? Maybe, like... It's gotta be three, four, depending on the person, How long right? have you and Charlotte been dating? Eight, definitely. Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Dude, this place. Look at this. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Now he's going to fall. It's like the beginning of any hospital drama TV show. You know he's about to be a patient in three, two, one. Can I read these people, I wonder? Let me just explore for a minute. See how much we're sort of able to go off of any beaten track here. Nothing. Also, though, offer to carry my bag, you know? You know, bro? These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. You well, here we are. Morning. Wow. Good to know. 9 p.m. Sunday. 2019 is when this is.
read his little brain. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. The Silver Dragon. Sativa. CBD oil. Gold. Hairy elephant. Hey, what do you want to smoke? Oh, I'll have one of the hairy elephant, please. I'll have one watermelon dream with a side order of hairy elephant and drip drop. Wow. Just wow. Goat yoga. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Literally? Welcome to Colorado. Literally? Literally? Like, it's not yoga inspired by goats, it's actual yoga with goats. I am confused. Uh, Cosmic, thank you so much for 17 months. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Oh my god, she works in you know, here? I was just making no fun problem, of this place. Really. Well, now I feel bad. gonna be longer than a minute. She's gonna be like me. a proper hippie, you think? Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Alright, nerds. Break it up. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand. Burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can... show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Thanor. This is awesome, Ethan. You didn't even look I in there yet. Read you, it. Uh, this makes any following critique not. Are you going camping? Seem genuine if you just you know say it's mines? awesome off of the cover. I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Are you aware of the explosions? Oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. <sighs> I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. I feel like you would totally say, hey, 9 p.m. Sunday, don't be in there. Vinyl, you say? Do you have the Stardew Valley soundtrack in here? Hello? Oh, wow. Little Nightmares? Last Guardian OST? This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. Shooting star tattoo on her hand. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except mm. this time. Cat! I'm buying the record. Get to the cat. No way. Oh, well, they do like local radio out of here. And it'd be so fun.
Oh, uh. All right, which one are you immediately drawn to, guys? Left or right? Just on the cover. Which one would you go? Oh, let me listen to that. <laughs> There's no timer. Can I just make her hold those forever until her arms get tired? Hmm. Hmm. I'm an indecisive sort of person. Uh, that was a little judgmental, that look. Give me, you know, you should have held up two that you were happy playing if you don't want me to make that choice, let's be honest. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. <laughs> oh, God, it's so indie movie. Some chick. I don't even know yet. But I feel like I will. Give Sorry, enough this time. door's actually closed right now. Hell yes. <laughs> which is confusing because yes, indeed. it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, the controller vibrated when we shook hands. What do you think of Haven? Uh, thank you, Gemini, for the Prime three months. I appreciate it. What do I think so far? I think it's cool. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... The nerdiest thing I've ever seen. And I owned two Schoolhouse Rock albums. I'd lie and say it was for my work, but... No, it's totally for fun. Banter, you know? Banter. <laughs> it's cute nerdy, but we still so call it nerdy. you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. Wow. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Cool models. <sighs> Damn. This whole store is a vibe, actually. Before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No Life idea. is Strange comic. Stuff leaves stuff all over the place. So they have records and comics in here? Phone. How do I check my phone? What button is it here? Uh, reminder to all Haven residents: Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 9 p.m. Oh, what is this? Social medias. My sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow. I expect everyone to be on their least worst behavior. I'll be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. My block. The new social media. Who's on your block? My block. Bang, 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 bang. Invite someone to your block party. So exciting. I could barely handle one chen. No way. Tomorrow? Happy for you. I'll buy you a beer tonight to celebrate. My block. Ethan, the latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished. Like, I'm already following this kid, apparently. Uh, way to go. How many can I have for the store? 
ready to be Thane or for real in the LARP next week. Totally. It's going to be legendary. <laughs> we just, we're all just the bunch of the best looking nerds with all of the nerdy culture that you've ever seen. So far, less than an hour in. Comics, check. LARPing, check. Uh, doing art stuff, check. Vinyl, check. Local radio, check. Ninth Warden, hero of the intergalactic peace wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Goat yoga, check. All right. More importantly, pet the cat. Wait. Is that the hold list? I don't care about the hold list. Pet the cat. Don't scare it. Move it. Don't freak out. Just gonna. Okay. I Wouldn't just happen. Mean... Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen in real life. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Cats love me. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Can I read the cat's hand. mind? <laughs> it's gorgeous. I don't want to scare it. That's uh. Oh, there's a cat bowl. Give it some food. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. That's a good name. Meow meow. The rabbit hole. Beat. Show. The kings. Mint. Zed. Kids Kids jams. Eight. Kids bop. World. I'm right, looking for the cat toy then. You would think that, um... Oh wait. I feel like I recognize this song that's playing. Can we have a peek? I love that this town has their own radio station. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Oaks. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. We'll listen to it. On that well to, well known podcast for going to sleep down to sleep down to sleep podcast on Spotify and such. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Spring Fest decorations. Alliance ordered you a mop, mop, mop. Okay, where is this toy? Staff picks. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Delightful. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Forbidden songs. A Color 51. me impressed. I well. Oh, what can we listen to? Man, who's old enough that when you used to go into music stores, they had those little listening stations with the headphones? And they had, like, a whole bunch of the latest albums on there. That's just a memory unlocked right there. So, this is Haven Springs. We're having a, a zen moment. Town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry. With its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. You'd never get that these days, huh? Feel real. Got nice boots too. Like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. Walking Scott Street, feeling like a stranger with an open heart, a bear. open container. I've got a stack of mail. I want to work here. It's a shower, beer, it's a payment plan. There's helicopters over my I'd slowly head. win that cat's, you know, trust and attention and affection. Every night when I go to bed. Spending money and I earned it. Comedy 
album's punk. When I'm lonely, that's when I'll burn it. Do you feel a shame? Nice. Really like these moments that it cuts you into and you can just chill with for a bit. the thing. Let's take a look. How very small town. Da, 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 da. Apparently plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. Bam. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. Name the tune of 10 oldies to win a flat screen TV. Oh, I'm supposed to help you. Here we go. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So. I like to look at everything I can in these kinds of games. What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. And it's such oh, a cool shelf. A little bit of the bubbly. A little bit of the bubbly might help us find it. Laura coming in with that tier two for 16 months. Sweet 16. Thank you so much for the 16 month resub. Get some love in the chat. We had a lovely weekend. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna look at the shelf here. Shelves are meant for holding things, right? What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? Cats. <laughs> at least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. The drawer, it's always in a drawer. Maybe that drawer? Jar? She said jar? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. So what is that CD? That's a CD Nothing. with just one song on it, and it's the theme from Titanic, because I ain't ever heard no other Celine Dion song as a hit. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. What is another famous Celine uh, Dion song, by the way? <laughs> I love saying things just to wind people up sometimes. My sin, okay. It's fine. What's in there? Can I go in there? Looks like there's an instrument I can play. In my head, it went, uh, do you believe in life after love? But that's Cher, isn't it? Who does have some bangers. Maybe in the junk box. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Not feeling the cat slander in this game. Let's see what's in here. Drum kit. Steph's. She plays the drums too. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Oh, I have the option to. I'm gonna do it. Don't do it loudly, because they'll hear. You're meant to do it for yourself. And I just wanted to see what would happen. Tap a finger on it, you maniac. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. Mm -mm -mm. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. It's been so long since I've played. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In 
these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Made in Poland in the 1930s, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sylwiewski, a renowned clarinetist and a survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he founded Sobeys Music and imported a fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, where his generous donations still fund the KRCT, Haven's own independent radio station. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, get to get to. Ah, who's the superior mammal now? The baby. All right, <laughs> good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Now pet the cat. Gabe Chen, tiny blue bot. Also Kings of Leon is what's on hold for him. Steph is getting grade school group project and narrow pathers. Just in case that's important, we have to remember stuff she likes, you know. Pick up dates. Should have known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. And he. Why do you say seriously? You? Like liking Kings of Leon is such a surprising, weird thing. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn, the legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. I wonder if we'll get to listen to this. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just, no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. Hey, you did that for us. <laughs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Sorry, I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Thanks, babe. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? And now he's hiding Thanks the gift. Help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. What I think we'll be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Is that a bear on his guilty t-shirt? I'm trying to see like what that design is. You know is we're trying to keep her there. in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, He's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, 
Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. <laughs> I mean, they no both have the same pattern on. I have a shirt that has this pattern. They have the uh, the red and black, and he's got it I'll on his up, underneath as well. What is this like? Host. Colorado uniform, red and black checkers. We're in a gang. We're gonna start doing a street number, you know, singing together and snapping their fingers. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. So we're gonna get to meet her now. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. Hell yes. So we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? <laughs> Why is this kid's pull such creepy little faces, though? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Capiche. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Tell should him. I? You don't owe this child or nothing. That is a child. You don't have to. You don't owe a child to keep a dangerous secret. If a child tells you something that could be important like that, right? That's what I think, anyway. And this is like kind of a very important person and guardian in his life. He should know. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, I should just so he's aware if he goes missing, and you know. Shoot. Earlier, when Ethan and I were talking. He mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. You literally just really? said he tells you secrets and you we'll keep see. them. Oh, God. Okay, well, maybe the wrong choice. I appreciate you telling me. Y you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? I kind of think it's your duty with people that are younger that it's sometimes you've got to make a decision they won't be happy with, but if it's going to something that's going to keep them safe in the long run, then sometimes you've got to be disliked for it, you know? So, this it's your is job, what a mining not your job looks to be like. a best friend. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. Got to be the bad guy sometimes. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. <laughs> is he wearing the same Alex, thing? This is my it's buddy the uniform. Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet He's himself got the goat waiting on his for you shirt. to get here. Lots of animal themes going on. I was excited to see him, too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. Ha! <laughs> I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're oh, it's called in. Buffalo Check. Interesting. Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Loquacious. Oh, before you leave. Word of warning. 
Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. The brown bear diner. Let's go get some pancakes. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. I was thinking Stardew Valley, the spring festival, the day of the spring festival, and who will you ask to dance? This is really cute so far. I like it. Like the vibe. Can't wait for all the tragedies that are gonna befall us. Shit, man. This is pretty cool. I mean, you live above a bar, which this is, is not great, but what a Don't great space. So surprised. Don't you think? You, you guys think this place is cool? you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously. So much space. This is great. And the best part is, it's Thank actually you. yours. What? What? I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. <gasps> There's an arcade okay. machine, dude. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children, Gabriel or Gabriela. What a, what a, what a, what a help, you know? Amazing. The acoustics would be terrible in there, but, you know, can't have it all. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expect it? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. And a shirt like this. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. It's not, I know. It's not I'm quite good. an apartment. I was going to get this for you. I'm trying. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. What song are they going to put on? <laughs> is this a moment of zen? Where have Kings of Leon been? They like really blew up there for a while. God, I can't get over this. It feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. Go get him, bro. <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs>
fine. Moves. say I would expect somebody to uh, bang the floor for the noise. What? Well, drum thing around. Just give me a sec. Yeah! That was cute. Hey, Mac. Sir? Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass uh, right now! No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! Dude. Three was plenty. He deserved the first few. Oh my god. Alex, stop! Stop! Oh no. Gabe, I didn't. It's okay. <laughs> it's enough slices. <laughs> Amazing. Psycho! Hey man, you deserve this. You can this. both go fuck yourselves! I'm so sorry! Don't worry about it! You can't say someone's crazy. If you- if he was just being rude and she did that, sure, but he came in and started throwing hands. You can't then complain. Fuck! When you get it back at you. Sucks that she hit the bro though. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. That was totally go like shift. defending him. That's so dangerous, like getting kicked like that when you're down. Great. Like she went a bit overboard, but I don't I wouldn't hold that against her at all. It's more indicative of the fact that she isn't fixed wherever she's been, wherever okay. she started. The help that she's got, and now she's back out and reconnecting. And he's like, oh, that's still a thing, huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. Still, look at this sweet apartment, eh? I guess I might as well unpack. Mine, all mine. What do we got? We got a fireplace in here with a little chimney. We got a TV. Our phone's blowing up. 
leaf flowers calling volunteers to help with this year's spring festival the sign-up sheet is on the east side of leaf flowers swing by to see what roles are still needed of a volunteer put together another great festival okay how do i go backwards and see the rest enough with the transplants moving here i don't care if it's good for the economy i miss haven the way it used to be i'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me It'd be fine if any of them knew how to drive, especially in the snow, or at night. Say, Mike, if I remember right, you yourself came out here from Jersey a couple of years ago. Yeah, and look how downhill everything's gone since then. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Gabe, free drinks tonight at Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. Imagine being in such a small town that you could say free drinks tonight at this place and not have your entire account emptied out. What, like 12 people live here? What are we doing, Gabe? Oh, look, this poster, the poster has disabled replies so that, th that they can't get replies under their tweet being like, hey, get out of here, we are mining. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. What's this sculpture? Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. Looks cool. Look at these books. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Superheroes. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Oh, Gabe. You went hunting, sir? Losing some bro points. Killed that deer? Mm -mm. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Did hold it together. Thank you for the follow. Uh, we do have 10 minute follow to chat just on for today. For those of you, anyone who is new. Uh, that's just on for this to kind of limit any drive-by spoilers and people coming in who have seen it and stuff. Because it's not coming out episodically. It's the whole game. So I just want to avoid that stuff. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Also, just ask your girlfriend, dude. Why are you coming here and attacking him? He should be saying to her. So his girlfriend is the nice girl from the florist, from the flower shop. And he comes here acting like that. Why wouldn't he just be like, hey, you're hanging out with that guy a lot. What's going on? And she could just say, oh, we're working on my thing. And he could be like, yeah, okay, cool. Why is he coming here? Punching him. So I can, when an aura icon displays, I can read this too. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Mm. Alex. Do I want to know? A file on me? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Uh, 19th of January, 2019, Oregon, Oregon, Department of Human Services, Child Welfare, Child Placement, uh, Sunnyside Valley Home, Helping Hands. Also, he was, like, looking through the different things to find me, I think. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Because they were, like, checked off other homes there. He was calling around. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We're glad to see you're doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system. We don't know where she lives now. Here's the phone number for the agency. Line only available third Wednesday of month. 
Line only available third Wednesday of month. It's the only time the phone's on. Wow. Know. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Interesting. And then we punched him in the head. Medals. What for? Being awesome? What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Mm -hmm. What's in the fridge? Can I look in the fridge? Can we look at the food? No. Don't blame the weed. Okay, cool. Catchy, catchy. Put it on a bumper sticker, you know? Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. <laughs> We're gonna snoop at everything. Jigsaw puzzles. Man, imagine having a place big enough to just have a jigsaw puzzle out like that. That's my jigsaw puzzle table, that is. Don't touch it. Whack on that. Oh, what games have we got? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Dino Racer 2. Is that a sword? A sword for the LARP. We didn't even get to finish the song. Fussball. Oh yeah, I meant to be unpacking. C can I look at the arcade machine first though? Oh wait, what's this? I know a kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Anger. Anger hole in wall. Greetings from Mexico. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Oh, wait, read. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way, because holy smokes, the food is great. The drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd even that you'd outplay the hand that you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. I hope you can find her. Love, Len. All of our mentors and carers through the times I can play the game. Got all the high scores. Mine haunt. Up, down, left, right, jump. Is this gonna be like Donkey Kong? Oh, it is. Sweet. Dude, I was just thinking about. Oh, no, I'm not climbing. I'm at the top. Okay. It's kind of like Donkey Kong in reverse, but Pac Man. I, uh, I was thinking about old-school Donkey Kong yesterday. I know, I didn't. I didn't change it to fluff. There's so much, uh, licensed music here, I can't see this getting not blocked on YouTube, so... Ah! It's the Sunday secret bears after dark, you know? Hope you're ready to lose that high score. I reckon this gets the ghosts, yeah? Go up, fool! Get the last ones. It's running out! Go, go, go! There we go, get these last three. See, now I'll just play this for the next rest of the stream is just me trying to beat this high score now. Um, thank you for the 101 biddies, appreciate it. Thanks. I love that they made this whole extra game here. Which, wasn't there a little game, there was a game in, um, Captain Spirit wasn't there. It was like a phone app or something. The uh, hot dog man or something. It was in that game. Right. It's 
Retro Knight. Okay, can I jump in that or... Okay, that kills me. Cool. Cool. <gasps> oh! Okie dokie. Last life. Got to be an achievement for playing this, right? Meow. <gasps> I don't know why, but I expected him to fall a little bit and make it to the ledge. Oh, now it's the last life. Okay. Got to jump. Ghostbusters. This level. What's the high score? Wow, it's like six times what I currently have. Let's get back to the game. Come eat me, ghost. I feel like we should be going after our bro after we unpack, you know? <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Gabe looks like he fits right in. We're here to mess up his uh, wonderful life, you know. <laughs> really made a name for yourself here. Got a lot of friends, huh? I'm here to cause some trouble. Did I look in the drawer? I did. Okay, let's unpack our bag. Oh, wait, no. Clothes. Can I change clothes? <gasps> Get dressed. Customize outfit. Yes. What? A bar. Yes. Loving that color as well, actually. See, look, these uh, trousers are really nice. If I could rock those with that. All right. Damn. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Did like the other outfit, but I mean, look, this has a sleepy, grumpy looking bear on it. It's perfect. Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. Little Shushu. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Daddy issues check. Yeah, life is strange. The, the the, the game of daddy issues. Always. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Oh, we can read his comic. The tunnel to the monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed? I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here. Unless. Hollow. Aha! He must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps it can... Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent, but you may still be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. Wow, he said. <laughs> When he saw it. Oh, I was thought I was unpacking my bag still. There we go. Thanks for the follow. Some letters. Marshall Bear is a great way to describe that face. Sulky Bear, I like it. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. 
Hey Alex, what's up? Still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay, and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor's a racist, keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me, I'll get creative. Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her up? Miss your dumbass, Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there, Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Al... Alprazolam. Six milligrams. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Chelsky. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sunup to sundown. Smiley face. Real talk, though. I wanted to thank you for all the things that you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you were around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. And a little drawing of them as rats. Or mice. This is totally what it's like when you go through old things, though. Crazy you guys ever try and actually changed. go through an old cupboard or stuff that you've had in storage and you never get through it quickly because every other thing that you pull out you're like oh that memory oh the nostalgia of that oh, i remember when i got this and you sit there on the bed for 10 minutes looking through photos like oh, where does the time go it feels like yesterday oh look she ripped her parents off of the picture she kept just those two in it and he's got the whole thing. I feel like maybe whatever went on, he's like come to terms with it, accepted it, forgiven them my maybe. Journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. For himself, not for them necessarily. Big old j -j 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 journal. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door, like something was slipping under the frame, something red, something raw. Then there's Mac and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control. That is again. And no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body's already made the choice to hurt someone and it's gonna happen. No one can make me stop. Max anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Red, rage, relief. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else, it was under his skin, burning. That feeling like hot cords, grinding, hot cords, grinding around behind your ribs. One of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over, when your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from a hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? Say, sorry, I was protecting you. Uh, these threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Am I writing songs? I tried to write this so many times, they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I liked Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint. Smuggled in a few beers for us on the weekends, but her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone. I had to focus just to keep breathing, like dipping your rib cage in lead. Two bottles of sedatives lying in vomit, her eyes open, glassy and afraid. Sorry, Isabel, I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring the beer. Tessa, anger. Bitter and jealous, a little queasy. That's what ang That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. I split her lip open. Poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. 
So that'll be business as usual until the new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part, they confiscated my fucking guitar. Two week ban, at least I get it back. I promise, I promise, it's not what you say. No favors, no secrets, none coming my way. And after all this, you still had to pay. <laughs> Life is Strange, the musical. I got those daddy issues. Come on and get the tissues. We're Ugh. going on an emotional adventure. What rhymes with adventure? It's life is strange. Mid dentures. You're gonna need some new dentures when I feel the anger in Life is Strange Adventure. No fucking way. Here's a little something to say welcome home. Bro is uh, spoiling us, huh? Apartment, guitar. Not bad, not bad. Feeling, feeling taken care of. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, I think it's how guilt. are you feeling right now? I think this I think there's something there's more to us being spoiled here that it's actually cuz he said oh she's all grown up I, I missed it all. Oh nice. Couldn't look you in the eye. What a tune. You dress like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather. In a beautiful world I wish I was special It's probably like one of my favorite songs You're ever So very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing? Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weird there's enough F-bombs in this already to do the version with the F in it. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. And she meant those words, you know? And you could tell. You could tell. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Nice. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. Narrator, she was wrong. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Yes, we should. A quick look at this bike. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. And now he got one. He's got everything he wants. Everything he could ever need. But didn't have his sister. But she's here now. To cause a ruckus. We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? Our friend through it all. But yeah, I'm definitely picking up that 
from when we did his little mind read and he said, oh, she's all grown up and I wasn't there to see it. And now he's really spoiling us. Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Oopsies, the board game. <laughs> you can you can hear the advert already, can't you? The board game that all kids want this Christmas. Oopsies. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks Get some pretty peas nasty on right it. about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. So this is his girl. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Oh, I don't get to patch okay. things up. I've got to sit on this all bloody evening now. Well, there now. goes my bartender and my backup bartender. How annoying. Also, if we haven't met before, I which I'm pretty that. sure we haven't, it's... It's a falling star? Wouldn't you really want yeah. your brother there to... Or rising. First time you're meeting his girl. Day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Falling pretty damn hard. Yeah. I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. It's like person. a vinyl effect when you make a choice. By you the way, that, like, thanks for telling noise. us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. It's the town, Dad. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Never did have kids of my own. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. But now I'll work here. Got a whole bunch of you ruffians coming into this town with daddy issues. Do what I can. I'd like to give you some food when you're hungry. Mmm, we're gonna choose who to talk to. Have a little wonder. So I'm short staffed at the moment. What was that, Dad? I mean, Jed. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Oh, you're uh... trying to recruit me? I just arrived in town. I suppose I do need some money, don't I? Go with Gabe's story, come clean. Uh, back up Bro's story. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. There's being honest so and then there's making your bro look like he's on. lying for you. Ducky and Diane over there. Okay. Steph over here. We call him D&D. &D. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. Oh, you I'm can give the food right orders now? to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? So I just arrived. The heck? It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess Papa. I'm a server now. Papa. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. 
Right. Yeah, that's what people see his anxiety with his little foot going. Look. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Starting over from scratch like this? Yeah, I guess. Fucking terrifying is what it is. Just so You're telling me. I don't know. <laughs> it... Oh, is that really Ryan? So wait, he's uh, the guy in the like check really shirt, the ranger, is his son? It wasn't even on me, but I guess it started vibrating in my... There's been so many names already that I'm... I'm like, Sweet uh, jukebox. who's here? I'll have to check out the song sometime. Uh, hello there. That looks radioactive. What is that? Some, like, absinthe? Some... Creme de... Some... Creme de snot? Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks, though. All right, now compliment my Sorry jumper. I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Who's here? So are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. The Lucan family? Have you heard about Twilight? Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag. But there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. They're all so hot. Life is strange. It's a world filled with very good looking people who are all very nerdy and all filled with different kinds of trauma. And everyone has daddy issues. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Do I know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Which was the one, actually, that was, I think it was in, um, was it in Before the Storm? They had a really cute segment that was like a D&D &D type thing, didn't they? It was like this whole like mini chapter where you sat with the kids and did like a role playing segment. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Because we awesome. have played all of the previous ones. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. Schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's jukebox a jukebox game. game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song. Oh. Guess wrong. You have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. Yes. You want to take his place? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. Mm -hmm. You have five yes or no questions before okay. you have to guess it. Okay. I beg this is actually, like, real and doesn't give me the answer, though. I thought it was name that tune in terms of we were going to hear something. Yes or no questions? What's this? Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Ichthyothis, Three Feet to the Wind. Alright, scroll through the albums. Song Missing. Think of the Children. Alabaster Daydreams. Vic Nasty. Blame the Monkey Brain. Okay, Pyric. Pyric. Check Ray is doing a whole Britney Spears thing over there with the snake. Endurance for Electronics. Mind the Damn Porridge. Okay, 
Okay, Gramps McGovern. <laughs> Give me a hand and kick your own ass, Gramps McGovern. It's a lot to choose from. The millionaire. I guess we'll start with cover art. Let's see. This is like a game of guess who. Um, does the cover art have a picture of an animal? Is there an animal on the cover art? I don't. Uh, no, no animals. Okay, there's no oh, animals. Too bad. Well, it's Some not. Some of these are really cute. Tommy Tiger know, and right? the Tummy Tuggers. Is there a person? Are there people on the cover? No. No. Yeah, no. Question mark. So something resembling people, perhaps. But not an animal. Um, I mean, would that be people but not people? Not that. How do you say no, yeah, no? Maybe because it's a person and not people. Maybe she's being tricky with me. That's an x-ray, but that's an x-ray of a monkey. Oh, maybe it's this one then. People, but not people, right? They're balloons. Let's see if we can narrow it down with... Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Mm, okay. Hmm. You've got two questions left. The band name is more than one word. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. Last question. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know. The band name is on the cover. One question left. Do I have any more cover art questions? I don't. Band name questions. Has a symbol, has a person's name. Which of these have a symbol? This one. That would get rid of that. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Okay, so it could nice. be that. That's your five. Ready to guess? It's not gonna be yeah. that because it's an animal. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. It's not a one word band name. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Sure do. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> God, I don't have to drink that. Guess I'm drinking? <laughs> Though, you know. What's everyone's favorite okay. shot? I don't remember the last time I had a shot. A little shotty poos. I like how I just got this job and I'm meant to be working. I'm just playing the jukebox game and drinking. Or well, not drinking, because I won, but still. Circus. Better with crowds. Wild beasts. Don't have animals in the circus. I have 
tequila. Yeah, tequila was probably the last time I had a shot, like, forever ago. Shit. Now Mac's scared. As he should be, because we kicked his butt. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Oh my god, there's more games? I'm asserting my dominance by coming in here and playing the arcade without acknowledging him first. Uh, cool. Hey, it's like the, uh, that block game. be like one of the only games that you could play on the school computer. Oh, oh my god, so many balls. Oh, I used to love this game. Ah. These nuts. Balls. Balls everywhere. Just don't lose the last one. What are those things coming? Oh, they blow up. Ah. So satisfying. Whenever you would get it up the top and it would just bounce along the back like that. Ah, my power ran out? Oh no, still going. Hmm? What happened to my balls? Was that it? Was there a timer? All these, like, extra games in it. It's almost like Shenmue vibes. A game that I can remember doing that and really liking. Can't play Turbo Kart, though. Thank you for the 99 bits. Can we play pool? Darts? Big old burr. <gasps> There's a dart in its nose. Rude. Up pretty good. Let's read his brain. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her, and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. To be you're fair, she should leave you after you beat up fault. just a guy who was helping. Like, that's it's a little extreme. You have brought violence into this, uh... Alright, let's actually do my job. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan! Here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. He's told the whole Gabe town. is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> It feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist. She, uh, she still Recently dresses like she's from D.C. though. Recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go. Cheeseburger. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Oh, let's have a little. Jed's feeling a little angry. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Hey, Dad. Yeah. 
I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. You can't tell me that the way she said Jed didn't sound like Dad with an accent, though. Uh, oh, I was supposed to be uh, r listening. <laughs> I was supposed to be actually taking the order. Um, cheeseburger with the mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Okay, let's just see if the old the old uh -huh, noggin okay. actually picked anything up. Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Is what well, is I think I remember. Ducky asked for his usual. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Been yoinked. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Carousing. Serves him right if you ask me. this feel guy's got a go vocabulary. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Upstairs unlocked. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we sad. both get there soon. Can I read Ducky? Call me Ducky. Everybody does. Hey. It's getting better for sure. <clears throat> Staff, hello? Hey. 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 All right. Cool. That's uh all right. Um well, yeah. okay. I have Ducky. Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> Have a look. For goodness sake. The awful cringe. How do I access the photos? 26,000 unread mails. Nice. A bar. Poor ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. It's not been easy being your daughter. You cannot simply say you're lonely and expect I'll forget my first 20 years. I'll think about your request. The kids are doing well. I've shown them a picture of you. <laughs> well. Sorry. Nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. I drink to forget. says All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Mhm. Mm if I was whiskey. So that must be for the lark. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Hmm. Thought I'd cracked it. In the microwave. In the fridge. In the cabinet. Ooh. Now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Oof, hot in here tonight. Oh! Nope. Nothing. Damn it. Is it in here? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Get 
dressed. Comic bike, Fußball. Fußball, das Fußball. Die Kannen. Das Fußball. Baum. Hmm, I don't see it. I guess I go down and ask uh, this deputy Dingleberry when anybody shows up. There must be something around the Randomly, black Randomly, like that can since help playing that game, Ducky's my brain whiskey. would just occasionally go tea gun and <laughs> baum. Wow, tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Stuck in there. If anyone was around last week, we played a learn a language game. We learned some German. What did we do? We did German. We did Korean. And did we do three? German, Korean. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Can't even remember what languages we learned, let alone the words. Good sign. Good sign. Only two spots left in bread baking competition. Mm -mm, dispensary coupons. Coupons for Oh Chinese, that's right. I did a really a quick look at the Chinese alive. at the end, didn't I? How mysterious. Amelia Rosam Goldstein. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. Hmm. Can't talk to me, I know. Mm hmm. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen. What do you want, punk? What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mainly you. That is bullshit. Definitely mainly and you. you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you're awful. You want me to lie. Are you asking me to lie, sir? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Okay, but here's the thing. I, I don't know, man. Shit. Uh-oh. What the fuck is wrong Here with you? Here she is. Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Uh-oh. Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. To apologize for your I dumb swear, ass, probably. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. He kind of reminds me of um, it's not my fault. the guy that played like Iceman in the, in the old X-Men films. What about you? About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Uh, sir, absolutely okay. um, not. Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Wow. <coughs> oh, God. Were you there too? 
There is absolutely not a chance in hell. Call out the bullshit or avoid further trouble. Listen, it's one thing, right, to say, hey, would you mind not, like, telling her everything that happened and being like, blah, 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 whatever. If it's not my business, it's not my business. Like, I'm not going to tell this girl I don't know your business. But if she asked me, I would tell her, right? But then if you were going to stand there and in front of me try and blame my brother for the fight and say it was all his fault, what a moron to expect anyone to ever have his back on that. Not happening. Also, I think there is an element of, if you're going to have those insecurities and jealousy and stuff, it's like, okay, like half understandable. As soon as he said they've been together for four years, bro, bro, you can't be with someone for four years and be being violent over that kind of thing. 100% calling out the bullshit. You're bad news, sir. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? Four years is too long to have not worked on that. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Surprised, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. And I'm proud of it. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. He did. Can you tell my brother that? Because he's mad at me. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... Are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. How about you take these in for questioning right here? She said, grabbing her crotch. Right here. You can take these in for questioning, Pike. You deserved it. Right here. <laughs> Just make the best impression. Are you saying I'm under arrest? I know my rights. <laughs> your face. <laughs> I knew it. You should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> you jerk. Gabe and I just like to prank right each here. other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm Cult working pranks. right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? It felt like he was... It had, like, let me shake your hand energy, like he knows that the guy's a knob. Uh, Calfee, thank you for the 99. Too much? Cool. All right, I've got to find this... Man, that's going to be interesting to see the percentage. So at the end of um, these episodes with Life is Strange, you get a percentage of everyone who's played it as to what their choices were as well. That is going to be one of the lowest percentages I've ever seen. I can't imagine anyone having that guy's back as he tried to throw their brother under the bus and tell a lie about him right in front of us. No way. Unusually personable staff? Nicely done, big bro. Is there anything this woman can't do? Not a chance. A bullet hole? Is that just... a hole? Photos. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch. Uh, ah, the there it is. Spooked patron. Christ, she did that to that guy's face? Steering clear. Yeah, Aww. I did, I'm what? I'm already making friends. Do it to you next, you little bitch. I'm gonna run this town. Bunch of softies up here. Starting that gang for real. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we're, we're all gonna wear buffalo check, okay? Ha! Small batch, 100 proof. I'm guessing that's pretty strong. Found this upstairs. What does In it even go up to? Dave's does it couch? only go up to 100? Is that like the strongest you can make a drink? Many thanks, Alex. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. A tenacious Cheers. D, you might say. He is enjoying that whiskey too much. My dad was in the service. Um, oh, what'd she say? Ask uh, Jed. I want to speak to this guy first. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Did I come on too strong? A it was bold. I'll give you that. It was a, it was a little too much. Hey, Alex. Back, back to work. Oh my god, the awkward expectant smile, the blinking. He's holding it for two. Oh, he's like, okay, yep, all right, this is... Is she okay? I know she came out of a home. What kind of home was it? She's just staring at me. Is there some sort of issue here? Is she going to say something? I'm still in uniform. I'd be as respectful as I can, as helpful as I can, and just... For her to speak first, you know, that's his sister there, but still waiting, still, still waiting. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh. Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. I feel like they like to drink in this town. A little bit, a little bit a lot, you know? <sighs> you know. Your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cute. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Later, alligator. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? I think so. Let me Actually, just see if I can speak yet. to Steph again. My dad was in the service. Hey. Yep, I'm done with everything everything I want to do. Thanks for the job, Dad. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, look at that. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. We have a rooftop. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's also kind of weird okay. that the kid who attacked him was still Time just hanging out in the bar where we live, right? Like, you just came to my place and attacked me and I had to beat you up. And now you're hanging out down here drinking. Small towns, you know. Mm -hmm. 
this is our rooftop. Gorgeous so far. Let's see what the view's like. Never leaving. Moving here, staying forever. Are you kidding? Silent treatment. How's your jaw? Hmm. Maybe we should just enjoy the silence for a moment whilst I refill my water. And then we'll see how bro's jaw is doing. Give me 30 seconds to grab another drink. Because it's pretty warm today. Staying hydrated. And I will be right... Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like with a mouse. I will be uh, right back in Uno Memento. For us to continue with the new Life is Strange. I'll be back in one second. That moment when you're looking for painkillers and then you sit back down after having given up and they're right on there on the desk next to you. <laughs> oh, I'm giving me a headache. Take these now, try and nip it in the bud. Gotta record the pod later tonight. Oh, we have no headache. Alright, let's get back to it. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... A beer? Chill. Did have his back. It's only fair, right? What? I... 
Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. Hmm. Interesting choices. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Hmm. Was this the, um, because sometimes didn't they like alternate who was doing the Life is Strange games? Was this the same people? Was this Don't Nod? Did Don't Nod do this one? Like, same as uh, Tell Me Why, for those who remember that was the last one we played. Or had this gone back to the fight A lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. Oh, this was Deck 9, okay. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him about your past. Tell him about your power. Hmm. Interesting, big choice to be made. Do we tell Broski about the past or the power? What do you think? I'm leaning towards... Ooh, it's really a tough choice, actually. It would be handy to tell him about the power. But also, he might not even believe us, right? Let's go past. Growing up in the system into would help. <clears throat> in my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. Good. Well done. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. I couldn't eat for a month. Not good. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system. Not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Mm. Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. Then I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. 
and I don't. Or does he? What is this? Is that for me? It is now. Someone who can help. What is this? A Cute. reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick, obviously, but... I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got. And how much better I was going to make it. <laughs> I feel like I should say I can't take it. He's given us so much. He's given us so much already. So have this back. It means more to you than it does will to me in my pocket. Come on. Babe, I can't accept this if it means so much to you. No, no. That's exactly why I want you to keep it. He'll be giving us the buffalo check shirt off his back next. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. I mean, why wouldn't you move, move here on. and start a new life? But I guess it's probably quite hard to do that and get a job, right? In a small town like this, these picturesque, popular places to live. Probably pretty hard to just up sticks and go there and settle down. But, you know, when you think about it, there's always something you can do, isn't there? Somewhere you can go. Start over again. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Exactly. That's the first step. Don't forget. I'm here to help you. That's not going to change. It's certainly going to be easier with some family here, too. Oh, so cute, dude. Done a really good job of introducing these characters, and you can like feel that bond between them actually. So. And how it's like very loving, but there's when like a tension tell me about the guitar? from that there as well. Anyway. Oh shit! Stop. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Ah, oh, ruined it. Surprise. <laughs> found our own present. Well. What do you think? You didn't get to see our face when we found it, but. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Hi, Is Ryan. Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. Onto the mine, isn't he? Isn't that the kid? You don't think maybe fuck maybe he did what is it i think he went up to the mountains if he actually did we need to move now let's go well it's a good thing we already told the bro about that then because otherwise i think it probably would have come out there it would have been a moment where he's like wow i don't know where he is and we have to be like uh he told us he was going to the mountain and they'd be like you idiot why didn't you tell us so i think we did the right thing earlier should be like hey ryan did you put your uniform on for this i mean 
This is official, official, official park ranger business. I think you should. There's no time. He's like, we've got to go find him now. I think you should put the uniform on there. Ethan. Ethan. Official, official uniform. Come on, pick up, pick up. Just get all tongue-tied when I'm around you. Oh. Alex. What am I drinking? It's a beautiful cocktail of Sweet. sleep deprivation. It's not really a cocktail, actually. It's just that. It's a straight shot of sleep deprivation. And a lot wow. of caffeine from yesterday, actually. Been a while since I was up here. I ordered uh, I ordered a coffee, but I felt silly only ordering one because I was going to have to pay Uber Eats like an extra two pounds to get that coffee delivered. So I just put another coffee in that was four pounds to not pay the two pounds to get another coffee for two pounds. So I just sat here and had a nice coffee and then chased it with a hot coffee. I had very little sleep. I had very little sleep. Um... Right, let's find this little... Where is... Uh, did we just split up to find him? Where'd Bro go? Should I be... I don't know... Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find him. Oh, I'll see you. At least we're not racing the clock. Smart. Hey. You good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. Why would you, uh... Why would the kid come up here on the day that there's blasts if it's this a kid, no regular thing, right? Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Boot a. Hey, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Suddenly feels like sure. until dawn going in here in this little group. Oh I god, I wish this company would do a horror do that? game. That would be amazing. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Because what's that company who does Until Dawn? Isn't it Massive? I think they're called Massive or Massively. They haven't been good since Until Dawn, so I would love somebody to step up and do a horror game like Until Dawn, but not them, you know? I'll still play uh, House of Ashes, but you already know it's going to be some cheese fest. Nope. 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 Super nope. Julie McNamara is a fucking skank. Just thought you, should, just thought you guys should know. <laughs> just thought you guys should know. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Or maybe she's a skank. I mean, I don't know. We just got here. Who are we to judge? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. All, the, all kinds of equipment can be murdery if you try hard enough. The real monster here is underage drinking. Do a little mind reading. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fucker. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. We raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location on December 30th, 2008, pulled us out of hell. Oh, so it's Jed who's the hero. I thought it was Ryan for some reason. Jed is the 
town hero. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch town of trapped dad. miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Hmm. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. Papa Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Jed. Huh. I feel like all people named Jed are probably, like, really the same guy, you know? Just like the name Jed immediately puts a picture in your head. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Ah, oh, the tunnel to the stronghold has okay. collapsed. Okay. If the wall is an Oh, there's illusion. the zombie. Zombie blood that he followed towards the door where the skank thing is written. Pull the door open. Secret entrance to the roof. With the view, like a tree house. It's back there then. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? What name to you guys immediately conjures no up? No shit. I'll be damned. A person. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster like stronghold a deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The jet. The comic all the, all the ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. there it is. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. A bulb. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. A Jeffrey. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Yes, there was blood from this that, like, went back over here somewhere. I think it's this door. Wait, so... Did Ethan... There's like a side door back there. Would you have a, I don't know. a brad, a toad, a seal? Yes, there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. Come on, put the lantern down and use two hands. Put your back into it, Ryan. Goodness, I'm doing all the heavy lifting here. You figured that out from a comic book. put fingertips on it and acted like he was helping me out. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Whoa. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kai, yeah, thank you uh, for the raid. Welcome. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I hope you had a lovely stream. Let us know what you're up to, what you were playing. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome them in, guys. Sweet. Legalize it. Have I got some good news for you? Oh, it's like an old one because I guess now it is here, isn't it? Here in the game, I should say. Not here, here. During conversations, use RB and swap what? between choices and objects. So I can barely hear you. The red one? Go with red! It's always red. Red, it's always red. It wants me to look at the comic again. 
corpse to a cloud serpent. Crash through the ceiling. If I can find high ground, reach the secret entrance. Ah, well, this would be like a cloud serpent, a dead crow. Ugh. Let's hope Perhaps. omens aren't really a thing. The corpse. Be careful walking around in here, okay? Noted. Who's sleeping in here? Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. Oh, can I compare the uh, the crow? Game's been great so far. Fantastic first two and a half hours. Ugh, me too. Which is good, because the last couple of things that came out in the series were kind of 50-50, but good first chapter. Any luck? Nothing yet. Let's keep poking around. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. This thing has seen better days. Okay. So we're looking for... The corpse of a cloud serpent that crashed through the ceiling, reach higher ground to find the entrance. Maybe I'm gonna climbing up here or something. Somehow. Stars. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out? Let's find out. Comic. Okay. The silo. We're getting close. This is a very, very unsafe place for a teenager to be playing on their own, right? Did you not watch those scary old PSAs that they used to have in the back day? Back in the day about playing on building sites. Might fall in some quicksand or something. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Out in the middle of nowhere. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the heads up! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Genius. You know. Will wonders never cease? Dark in here. I have a run button. I'm not okay, but it's okay. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Surely he'd be able to hear us if we shouted from here. 
Eleanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. Oh, he's gone further That's still. for the ravine. Shit. Let's go. To Dwarfenheim. Close? Think so. I feel like that deputy Ethan! should be here as well, isn't that part Ethan! of his job? Ethan! Too busy pranking people. I was going to say, is that a real glow or a psychic Ethan! glow? Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're going to get you out of here. Just oh, hang God, on. Ryan. Fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Oh no, I'm lighter. I'm small. Shit. What about me? Alex, uh, are you sure? Uh oh. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Feels like the kind of thing that could wait till morning though, okay. right? Till the professionals get here? It's not in any immediate danger. Sure. Honestly? No. That feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. What I will say Piece is the kid has... Uh, Zero right to be mad at us for telling them where he was after this, you know. They saved his butt, right? Hang on, Ethan. He's so scary. I'm coming. Am I actually balancing this, my Alex. charge of this? I don't know. Lovely view, though. I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. You're wrong. Doing great, sis. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. 
Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. References comic. Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. A log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Hmm. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. He likes Gabe. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Let me get to the other side before doing mind stuff. I can do this. I can do this. at the other end of the log like everything okay over there oh my god what's happening it's like i'm seeing the world through his eyes i thought i could hurt the monster but it's time to meet i'm not just feeling what ethan feels i'm seeing the world like he sees it All this stuff. None of it will save me. I am Gordon. Would it be afraid? But he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. See me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? Because you're afraid of a wall, son. It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, oh, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. We're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. I like how he's delegated such an important role to Gabe in all of this. Okay. One step at a time. I'm still really scared. 
Hmm. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. One step at a time. Probably better than just saying that you're not or okay. but there's nothing to be scared of. You want it to be understood, right? Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. They're open around the kid as well, like. Uh oh. No good, man. Tight grip. We're close now. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. That kid's crazy going over that thing anyway. Postpone the bomb. Wow, they did it anyway. Wow, dude, those cheeky. Dude, they set the brother up to be so good and lovable through that entire first chapter and then they kill him! Or at least he's down there. I think he's dead. Covered in rocks. Damn, dude. Wow. It was literally as we were coming back with the kid, I thought, I was like, are they going to kill the kid? I was like, this is life is strange. Like, anything could happen. So are we going to lose the kid? And then there's a whole thing with that and they killed the brother. Wow. Damn. Man, I, 